how to create the like animation of Instagram in Flutter. So we will create this bouncing heart animation if you double tap on this image. And besides it, we will also add the functionality of the small heart at the bottom of the post Instagram UI clone. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started within the build method. Here we want to create a new method, build image. And inside of it, we want to create here a simple network image. And I also supply here then a URL to this image, which is now here displayed on the right side. In case you want to have here a square image, you can also wrap here around the aspect ratio widget and set the aspect ratio to one. And this will make your image as a square. Next, we want to create this heart on top of our image. And therefore you can simply wrap here your image inside of a stack widget. And on top of your image, you can then simply put here an icon inside. So I put here the favorite icon inside, which is then here displayed on top of our image. Next, we want to interact with this image. Therefore, we simply wrap here around our stack widget, a gesture detector, and then you can implement here this on double tap. So if we double tap here on this image, then we want to heart our image. And to start our heart animation, we want to add here two fields, the is liked and the is heart animating. And we simply want to set both of these fields initially to false in our state. Next, we want to create here this bouncing heart animation if we tap on our image. And therefore, if we set here this is heart animating flag to true, then we want to start with the animation. Therefore, let's simply go here to our heart icon and we want to wrap it around with a new widget heart animation widget. And inside of this widget, we want to put then our Boolean field, which we have stored here at the top. And now we can simply create our heart animation. So let's create here this widget together and simply create here these three fields within your constructor. And now we want to create here within our state an animation controller. And we also want to initialize this animation controller within our init state method. And also make sure to supply here this single ticker provider state mixin within your state. And with this animation controller, we can now control here this heart at the right side. And we also want to define here how long our animation should last. So we simply take here some duration and we simply want to take here the duration that was passed to this widget. So here we have passed some duration and we simply want to take then these milliseconds and we want to divide it by two. And lastly, you also need to create the dispose method to clean your animation controller after the use again up. Next, we want to go to the child widget and this is basically here this heart icon and around it we want to wrap then a scale transition and here inside you can then supply an scale animation. So we need to create here this animation double and this is what we want to create here then first of all within our state and secondly, we want to initialize this animation double here inside of the init state. And here inside you can then supply two values, the begin value and the end value. And this is then later the scaling value of our widget. So initially our scaling is here at one. So it has the original state of this widget. And then we scale our widget up by 120%. And lastly, to make this work, you also need to call here this animate method and put your animation controller inside. Next, we need to start the scale animation, which we have supplied over our animation controller. And to do this, we simply want to override here this did update widget method. And here every time if it is here any field changed at the top, then we are going inside of this did update widget method. And here you can basically check if, for example, the is animating field was changed. And if this is the case, then we want to start our animation. And therefore I create here a new method to animation and inside of it, we call then our animation controller. And here with this one, we say that we should start the animation. All right, and now let's try it out. So let's go here back to our post widget. And here within this heart animation widget, we simply need to change every time this is animating flag. And if it is changed, then he is doing this animation of our heart. And before we can do the heart animation, we also want to hide here our heart icon because right now it is always displayed here within our UI. And to change this, you can simply wrap here around an opacity widget. And here during our animation, so if we are currently animating, then we set the visibility of this widget to 100%. Otherwise, we set it to 0%, so it is not visible. 
And now if I hot reload, our widget is not visible because initially this flag is set to false. And now we need to set this flag to true. And this is what we can easily do by simply double tapping on this image. Then this flag is set to true. So let's try it out. I click double tap on this and you see we had here the small animation. The only problem is now that he is not going again back. So this is also what we need to do. And therefore we simply go here to this heart animation widget and here inside we want to call then a callback on end. And this can be nullable and therefore we want to simply check that it is not null. And with this callback we can then later detect if our animation has ended like right now. And to do this you can simply go here to the constructor and then you add here this on end callback and also here within the constructor. And now you can go back to your post widget. And here within this hard animation widget, we have now access to this on end callback. So we can listen to when this animation has ended. And in case it has ended, then we want to set our is hard animating flag again to false because the animation is not playing anymore. Also make sure to put here the set state around so that our UI gets updated. So let's now try it out. I click here double tap and then you see we have here this short animation every time going on. However, this animation is pretty fast and therefore you also can supply here a duration to make it slower. And secondly, you can also go to your heart animation widget and here basically within this do animation method, we also want to call the controller reverse method. So we are doing an animation and show our heart and scale it up. And with the reverse, we scale it again down. Let's now try it out. So I double tap here and you see we have here this bouncing animation. So it is scaling up and this is done with this forward animation. And after it has scaled up, it will also go again down. So it goes to the original state with this reverse method. If you like, you can also add here after this animation some delay. So I add here a delay of 400 milliseconds. And now if I double tap here on this image, the heart will appear here longer at the end. We also want to execute here this code only if the is animating boolean flag is set to true. Otherwise, we don't want to call here this code. Next to the heart animation on our image, we also want to create here a small icon button, which is also every time animated if we click on it. Therefore, I have created here a simple icon button with an icon of this favorite icon. And this is basically here every time toggling based on our is liked state. And every time if we click on this button within this on press handler, we simply want to toggle then our is liked field, which we have stored here at the top in our state initially. And with this, we have here this simple heart, which is always toggling between the liked state and the not liked state. And we also want to animate this heart. To do the animation, simply wrap here this icon button around with this heart animation widget that we have created before. And here inside, we always want to animate if the boolean flag is liked is set to true. Let's also try it out. If I unlike, then we have no animation. And if I like it, then we have here always this cool animation. In Instagram, the heart is always animating also if you unlike your heart. And to implement also this feature, you can simply add here this always animate flag to true. And then you go here inside of this widget and you add it then to this constructor. And lastly, you go then here down to this do animation method. And here we can also do the animation if this flag is set to true. So it is then always animating. And that's it. If I now click here every time on this heart, you see we have every time this cool animation. And by the way, if you want to get here the whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.